Egon and the legends who are here, led by the senior Kipchoge, with the also the other, the other one is also a legend. So maybe to be a legend you have to be a Kipchoge, <laughs> uh, and um, all the uh, protocols observed. Good morning. Good morning again, um, Your Excellency. We are very excited to be here, and to be here to celebrate our athletes who have done exploits in the world. I want to congratulate them for doing a fantastic job. There are so many key, keyboard and social media warriors who know only how to criticize, but they do not know what it means to participate in an Olympics. Not just to win, to participate. I met uh, Sharon when she has just finished. Sharon Lokedi here, marathon. She came uh, number four and Paris. I met them at the finishing uh, line. At that point, I think Obiri was being attended to. And you can imagine somebody having done 42 kilometers, you know. Uh, I also met Benson and he was looking like he, he hadn't started even running. And he, <laughs> he had just won a medal. So to, to, this is a very difficult task. To be a sports person, we only see the three minutes that faith runs. But we do not see what happens behind the scenes. There is a lot of hard work, waking up in the morning, beating your body, denying yourself food, denying yourself pleasure, denying yourself your family. If you go to training camps, these athletes are sleeping on a very small bed, you know, just like in a dormitory in a school. The sacrifice they make so that they can reach where they are is immense, Your Excellency. I schooled with athletes and I know, and I know what the effort they put. And I want to say, when I say congratulations, we mean it, congratulations. For you to have even participated in the first place, well done. There are countries, Your Excellency, who do a major celebrations for having qualified to go to Olympics. I mean, to just qualify to be there. So that they say, you know, it's country X and Y. And for our country, I think for far too long, because of the part that was prepared by or at least in the past, it's become so obvious, we expect it to reap even where sometimes we do not sow. And I think we want as a government, as a ministry, to be more deliberate in supporting our athletes to make sure that when we come to celebrate like this, at least we can trace the path that we have supported them. And I know, Your Excellency, you have been very deliberate since you came to office. And you have been very firm to say that the sports fund must continue supporting our athletes and support sports. And we are going to continue that path. We are going to go to the grassroots. We are going to work with team. We will invite the private sector. We want as many players as possible to support our sportsmen. Your Excellency, the airtime we got for our anthem to be sung four times. You cannot buy that with any money in this country in terms of an advert. When I was in the streets of Paris with, <coughs> with my, my peers, we tried to joke the last five, five uh, kilometers to the end of the marathon. Uh, and I don't want to say what happened to the peers, but... Uh, uh, Your Excellency, when I was there, when people see the Kenyan jersey, the, the uniform with the Kenyan flag, immediately stop you and ask you, where can I buy it? In fact, there was a shortage of this uh, uniform in, in, in Paris. And I think if I was a private investor in Kenya, I would put my money on athletes. I would put my money even for them to wear a cap with a small branding of my company. Because the airtime you get is incomparable. And I think this is the best. And I want to thank Brand Kenya for giving out this uh, armbands. Every athlete in the world the American sprinters, the Europeans, they were wearing that armband, Your Excellency. And they are gladly, gladly posting on social media, on TikTok. If you go to TikTok now, our flag is all over with world, world uh, beaters and world record holders. So this is an opportunity for our country. This is an opportunity for us to market ourselves. It's an opportunity for us to uh, 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 grow brand Kenya. I know many people will come to Kenya based on these athletes as tourists. And I think we have a great potential to make sure that athletics and sports is going to be a great thing for us. Your Excellency, going forward, you know we are only depending on runners. Other countries, why they are reaping so much gold? They have many other things. 
we don't understand why we don't have people who can just shoot there was a, a Turkish guy who was just standing there he doesn't even wear anything and he's just uh, yeah even even archery we should be able to participate and we know where the problem is your excellency it's in the leadership of the federations most of the federations are not organized and as a ministry we want to promise that the federation for swimming for badminton for these archeries and all this we are going to call them we organize them we support them so that in four years we have more disciplines participating in the next olympics we need to return the days of wangila with boxing you know your excellency we used to win medals on, in boxing and all these other areas if we do so i have confidence that if we prepare ourselves as president of nox said and our president for ak has spoken in the next four years we will come back home with better uh, medals the last thing i'd like to say is that your excellency um we thank you very much for being of great support for following this team personally for making phone calls to find out what's happening and for having sports in your heart thank you for the investment you have already put in so far as infrastructure is concerned we'll be prudent in supporting that infrastructure we'll make sure that our at least the other day cnn covered our athletes training in Kamarin Stadium in a very deplorable state. We believe, Your Excellency, in the next preparation for Olympics, Kamarin Stadium and other stadia in the country uh, will will actually have here in Kipchoge, as you are you are about to launch, the one in Kapsabet, the one in Nairobi, the three in Nairobi, the one in Wote, uh, the ones in Kisumu, in Mombasa. We want to see our athletes running in Garissa and being able to to have at least that look like the ones who are in other countries coming also from uh, uh, such areas, pastoralist areas. And we will do that to make sure that this country move forward. I don't want to say much. This is your event. Thank you for hosting us, doing it so fast, Your Excellency, uh, to the extent that uh, Ter Gadatu worked so hard to get a ticket to be here. Thank you very much for making it possible for us to be here today. Without much uh, to say now, let me take this uh, opportunity to invite His Excellency the Deputy President to speak and thereafter invite you to make your remarks. I thank you, Your Excellency.